So this is a review of the King Boss 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I actually picked it up for $76.57 before taxes with uh, some kind of double discount. This is the test of this battery. Uh, right now it's showing $113 on the last day of March. It's been all over the price in prices. I do believe that it has some very unbalanced cells in it, uh, just based on its charging uh, parameters and also its discharge. I only could squeeze about 89 amp hours out of it. And uh, I did get full power of more than 100 amps discharge uh, when I ran a heater. So uh, this is kind of how I did my setup. It's one I've used before in other batteries. Um, take it with a grain of salt, and it has about uh, probably 5% uh, accuracy to it. The King Boss battery arrived well packaged. It arrived with uh, nuts and a manual. The battery has all the do nots on it, the side of it, and the uh, 8,000 cycles purportedly. It is nice that it has this carry handle. The voltage upon arrival, 13.1 volts DC. The idea here for charging is to run a DC power supply at a constant voltage into the battery until it's full, registering about 13.8 and then slowly ramping up to 14, 14.2 for full charge. Okay, it looks like the battery is full charge now. This is how you can tell how balanced the cell is. Right now it's sitting at 13.94. And as soon as I connect the meter, you see the current drops up and drops off. And 13.94 means that one of the cells is high and shutting off the BMS. So it's fairly balanced. I noticed the internal balancer only balances at 35 millivo milliamps. So it's gonna take a long time to top balance. So I think I'll just run the test. Okay, my test setup consists of a best tech 1200 watt inverter sine wave and then I have a couple of uh, lipo chargers for the duration test which are used uh, to charge my off-grid system here in the office so let's turn this on and We'll adjust this to the watts. See, everything is zeroed there. Just the inverter takes a few, takes a whole amp of current. Watts. Let's see that we're all zeroed out here. And we will plug in the first of the power supplies which is drawing let's see 200 watts 
at 16 amps. So let's plug the second one in, which gives us 260, 240, 249. This is 24 amp hours, 24 amps of current draw. Okay, we're almost there. We're down at 11 volts battery voltage. Delivered 990 watt hours. And from the battery, 87 amp hours, 1.11 kilowatt hours. That's 10% lower than advertised capacity. Uh, we'll go until the inverter shuts off or the BMS shuts it off. Okay, there it went. Everything shut down and we didn't quite get a kilowatt out of the inverter. So it looks like one of the cells is way out of balance, at least one with the other. So as I put this uh, power supply back on and bring it back to back to life, you can see our final totals here almost 90, uh, 88 amp hours, 1.11 kilowatt hours. I don't know if the battery was balanced, if it would do any better. Advertised is 1,280 watt hours. I think my meter has uh, plus and minus probably uh, a few amp hours, the accuracy of this meter. So if we call it even 90 amp hours, it's... Uh, this battery does not perform like advertised. However, I paid $74 for it with a double discount that I happen to get. Currently they're going for 103 on Amazon. You decide whether that's a good enough deal.